Hi students, hope you are all doing good. So, as the condition is a bit critical, please take care, please be at home, stay safe and uh, don't come out of the house, houses until it is set for you to come out. So, enjoy the days and meanwhile, you can res listen to some of the classes, online classes, live or recorded. So, this class of mine is particularly on uh, fermentative production of citric acid. So this is the second unit uh, of the industrial microbiology syllabus whatever you have. The first unit, I hope we have finished the first unit completely leaving the chromatographic techniques that we will be dealing in the next uh, coming classes. So this is the fermentative production of citric acid which you will be seeing. So these are the contents of this particular uh, class that you will be uh, we will be talking about that is uh, introduction about citric acid history of citric acid microbes used in citric acid production factors affecting its production industrial production as such and application as well as its side effects citric acid is a weak organic acids organic compounds as such are the compounds which has carbon hydrogen and oxygen right so uh, citric acid is a carboxylic acid weak carboxylic acid which has a chemical formula that is c6h8o7 okay so since the citric acid has many application in industries like it is used as food additives it is used in pharmaceutical and cosmetic industries and uh, as citric acid is uh, produced in by all aerobic cells so citric acid is the most important commercial product which can be produced from all the plants and animal tissues you know the Krebs cycle by which the citric acid is produced it is basically known as uh, citric acid cycle and this citric acid is uh, acts as a good natural preservatives and so because it gives a acidic taste to food and also the soft drinks and more than a million ton of citric acid is produced every year by this microbial fermentation so coming to history of citric acid citric acid was first isolated in 1784 by a swedish chemist carl willem who later crystallized it from lemon juice so here you can correlate the lemon juice with that of citric acid so 90% of the components in, in your lemon juice or take uh, any other citrus fruits so the 90% of the components uh, component is citric acid so initially the citric acid was produced and purified by these citrus fruits but as microbial process is less expensive than the than buying the fruits and extracting the citric, citric acid from that the microbial production of citric acid is carried out right now so later industrial scale, scale citric acid production began in 1890 based on the italian citrus fruit industry italians were the first to start this um, citric acid production using the citrus fruits later in 19, 1893 Wilmer uh, um, discovered penicillin mold could produce citric acid from sugar. So, as I was talking about the microbial production of citric acid, this um, Wilmer uh, discovered penicillin mold. Penicillin could produce citric acid from sugars, especially sucrose. So, however, the microbial production of citric acid did not become industrially important until the World War I uh, disrupted Italian citrus exports. So until this citrus export started, uh, was uh, disrupted uh, in World War One, the microbial production of citric acid was not started. So the microorganisms used for citric acid production can be a bacteria, fungi and yeast, but as we have already seen and done in our practical classes, fungi are known to produce citric acid in a large amount compared to bacteria and 
least. So the main advantage of using these microorganisms for citric acid production or take any other uh, industrial, produ industrial product. So uh, the, its uh, advantages are it is easy to handle and uh, its ability, the ability of the microorganism to ferment a variety of inexpensive or less expensive raw materials and its high yield. So yield will be high uh, using microorganism when compared to um, other processes. So these are some of the examples of microorganisms that produce citric acid, fungi, bacteria and yeast. So especially the organisms, the fungi which produces citric acid are, uh, you know, that is well known Aspergillus niger that you have used in your laboratory also. That is Aspergillus niger which produces enormous amount of citric acid and its end product is citric acid and some of the other fungi are Aspergillus avamori, Aspergillus venti and some of the penicillin species can also be used and bacteria such as Bacillus lichenifermis, cornibacterium species can also be used. In yeast, uh, some of the candida species are used for citric acid production but especially uh, presently the organisms which are used in industries for production of citric acid is aspergillus, especially aspergillus niger. So coming to the biosynthesis of citric acid, citric acid as you all know, uh, the well-known uh, process is by Krebs cycle. So the Krebs cycle happens by the pyruvate which is produced by glycolysis. So all organic, uh, sorry, all aerobic uh, organism will go for this uh, glycolysis as well as Krebs cycle, right? So the Aspergillus niger being an aerobic organism will go for synthesis of pyruvic acid and then subsequent synthesis of citric acid by Krebs cycle. So the citric acid is produced by Krebs cycle with all, by all aerobic organism. But provided that there is a deficiency of any cofactors such as manganese, nitrogen or phosphorus for enzyme for the synthesis of other enzymes. Uh, when there is a deficiency of these cofactors, it will go for the synthesis of oxalic acid. For example, Aspergillus niger go for the production of oxalic acid when there is a limitation of cofactors such as manganese, nitrogen or phosphorus for the other for the production of other enzymes so coming to production of citric acid citric acid is produced by aspergillus niger you know as i was telling in the last uh, slide so aspergillus niger is an aerobic organism so you need not bother about the oxalic acid synthesis uh, synthesis by aspergillus niger so let us concentrate on the citric acid which is generally produced by aspergillus niger Aspergillus niger produces citric acid by utilizing a substrate that is sucrose or generally you can use any of the carbohydrates for the synthesis of citric acid as a substrate. So here sucrose is used as the substrate where sucrose can be converted into pyruvate, pyruvate into citric acid by Krebs cycle. So the, uh, the enzyme which is responsible for the conversion of this uh, uh, sucrose into citric acid by the process of uh, uh, glycolysis and Krebs cycle is uh, enzyme called citrase synthase. So this enzyme is responsible for the conversion of sucrose into citric acid. So in the last slide we uh, came to know the conversion of sucrose into citric acid. So sucrose is first converted into glucose and glucose into uh, pyruvate, pyruvate into citric acid. That is the process which happens. So coming to the fermentative synthesis of citric acid, fermentative production of citric acid. You know there should be the fermentation uh, which happens when uh, Aspergillus niger converts sucrose into citric acid. So the fermentation is the most economic and widely used method for synthesis of citric acid production. So the industry, um, uh, industrial uh, production of citric acid goes by three different uh, processes, three di different ways of 
fermentation uh, as i was explaining in the class there are different types of fermentation that is surface fermentation submerged fermentation and solid state fermentation so we'll see how these so surface submerged and solid substrate fermentation happens for citric acid production this is the surface fermentation of citric acid by aspergillus niger so aspergillus niger can be uh, inoculated into the uh, fermenters that is made up of glass aluminum or stainless steels so this uh, fermenter will have a liquid media uh, the liquid media is either either chemically defined which has sucrose in it or sugarcane molasses can be used sugarcane molasses is rich in sucrose so that the liquid media which is used is either the chemically defined media or the molasses which can be used so in the surface fermentation the the liquid media is inoculated with the spores of aspergillus niger and it is kept for 5 to 14 days at a temperature of 27 to 33 degrees celsius and the ph temperature should be maintained here uh, as i was discussing in the class precursor should be added uh, in the medium the precursor here is nothing but the sucrose so su sucrose can be converted into uh, citric acid so sucrose here acts as precursors so this is uh, the fermentation uh, where there is no baffles there is no agitation which is required here you just add the uh, spores into the liquid medium and leave it for few days so that the uh, proper mat is formed which is shown here uh, the the aspergillus niger mat is formed and the liquid which is left out after the fermentation after 14 days the liquid which is left out here will contain the citric acid this citric acid you can uh, take it for purification in the further process this is submerged fermentation where as the name itself says the submerged fermentation is inside the liquid medium the microorganisms are submerged into the liquid medium the aspergillus niger spores is inoculated 15 centimeters depth in the fermentation tank the fermentation tank will have the liquid medium as i was telling in the last slide the liquid medium is either either chemically defined or sugarcane molasses can be used as the uh, liquid medium so the optimum conditions such as ph temperature uh, aeration and agitation should be maintained in a proper way and here the amount of citric acid which is formed I, either it is submerged or surface uh, fermentation the amount of citric acid with uh, uh, citric acid which is formed is directly proportional to the sucrose which is used so the amount of citric acid is, which is formed is uh, is equal to the sucrose which is added in the medium so the, the major difference between the surface and the submerged fermentation is in the surface uh, fermentation there is no by uh, mixing of the medium continuous mixing of the medium here in the submerged fermentation there is a continuous uninterrupted mixing of the medium by the help of uh, impellers so where it maintains a proper uh, aerate, uh, aeration condition and proper mixing of the medium and the mycelial mat the fungal mat which is formed uh, is seen in the surface fermentation but here in the submerged fermentation there is no mat which is formed but the mycelium uh, is formed in the form of small balls so you can see uh, the small uh, balls kind of uh, mycelial mat which is formed and uh, further the liquid medium uh, which is uh, remain you can take it for uh, the purification of citric acid so this is solid state fermentation uh, as i have already told in the last classes it is the simplest method and the most employed method for any uh, product formation so here in citric acid production also solid state fermentation is employed which gives a very good result when uh, which gives very good result when compared to submerged and uh, surface of, uh, fermentation here the solid state fermentation is also called as koji process which was first developed in japan so these japanese um, made this where they steamed the grains and they grow uh, they grew this um, aspergillus oryzae on it which was called as koji so here also 
the solid state uh, solid substrates can be used on which the fungus can be grown so that the fungus will produce some of the organic acids in a very good amount compared to other fermentation process so here in citric acid production also when a cassava was used as a solid substrate there was a maximum yield that is of 88 grams per kg of dry cassava matter when fermented and which was kept at an initial moisture content of uh, 62 percent and at a temperature of 26 degrees celsius for 120 hours when these optimum temperatures were used uh, using cassava as a substrate the maximum production of citric acid was used when compared to other submerged as well as surface fermentation this is the flow chart of microbial production of citric acid as i told you um, the culture medium can be chemically defined uh, like what is given here or it can be uh, the sugarcane molasses which is used which I told in the last slide. So this culture media will be inoculated with the Aspergillus niger strain and it is left for fermentation for 5 to 14 days. After the fermentation process is over, the fermented broth is taken for downstream processing. What is downstream processing? It is the purification of the desired product whatever you want so this uh, from here from the fermented broth the downstream process starts the purification of the citric acid starts the first step of purification of citric acid is the addition of lime so after you add lime that is lime is nothing but calcium hydroxide so citric acid here will not be in the pure form it will be mixed with other components in the fermented broth so you will have to separate citric acid from the other components so first when you add calcium hydroxide in the first step calcium citrate is formed okay calcium citrate is formed after the calcium citrate is formed next critical step is addition of sulfuric acid when you add sulfuric acid the calcium sulfate is formed and finally free citric acid here you can see which you can go for further crystallization okay the crystallization is done by vacuum evaporator as i told you vacuum evaporator is a special instrument by which you can evaporate the unwanted um, water or any a liquid that is there so the so that the crystallization process will be easy and this process of crystallization using the vacuum evaporator is repeated uh, several times to obtain pure citric acid crystals in the form of uh, crystalline sodium salt which is anhydrous anhydrous is nothing but devoid of any water content in it so this is basically the flow chart of the production of complete uh, this is the uh, probable use of citric acid which is produced industrially. 70% of total production uh, of uh, 1. million tons per year is used for food and beverage industries. So 70% of total citric acid which is produced is used in food and beverage industries. The rest will be used in the um, other industries uh, such as pharmaceutical and uh, cosmetic industries. So this is the basic use of any citric acid. So these are uh, these are the other uh, examples which are given here uh, as a, as uh, usages of citric acid. So you can go through this. And coming to the side effects of citric acid, you know uh, whether it is any compound, there will be as uh, as there are advantages, there will be disadvantages also. But citric acid as such will not have much side effects. There are uh, very less or very mild side effects of citric acid. So these are some of the uh, side effects of citric acid mentioned here, uh, you, which you can go through. But as I told you, the, the citric acid side effects are very mild and you can ignore the side effects of citric acid. So thank you students this ends the fermentative production of citric acid here if you have any doubts please get back to me uh, we can have a chat online chat in campus technology uh, or uh, you can uh, directly message me asking for doubts uh, please get back to me if you have any doubts thank you so much have a nice day and please be safe thank you